six. And the DM, and he says, well, could it be 60? Any more than that, because I'm still under contract. I'm not going to answer any more questions about it. Not right now. Carol, I have to go. And my wife had my wife has to go, and she's getting ready to go do something. And uh, Gerald. Okay, well, thank you very much. Goodbye. Wait a little bit. No, you know, wait a little bit until July when the book comes out. That's what I'd suggest, and then you call me, and I'll give you an interview. Oh, never, never. That was before the electronic age. Gerald, that's enough. Hotel to 1969. God, I mean, that isn't hard to keep your record straight. He should know when he gives me information like that, he should get it right. And how, it's like, come in. Oh, damn it, I wish, open the door. The guy that. Why? Jesus, how the hell is. Hello, hello, Gerald. God, this goddamn laptop is terrible. You called your... Her pubic region was red. very red, and she had big boobs. Catherine's bedroom window. A mysterious force captivated my entire body. I think it was because I was entering puberty. Quiet now, but it's not going to be quiet uh, very soon. I don't think. I gotta tell you guys something. We gotta get around the table. I gotta tell you something. I, I'm really pissed off. That lady over there, and I'll do anything to protect her. But when the gay police makes that last statement in there talking about my card collection. Uh, I never wanted that in there. I don't want people to know that I got a million dollar card collection here. What if a lawyer turns around and sues me? And they put a lock on the house and everything in it. I can't even sell it. Because the reason they put a lock on it is they know it's worth millions and therefore they can get the money. See? God, what the hell? And I never saw any of those things. Never once did he ever show me the damn uh, manuscript. Get that out of there. You know, you don't put that kind of stuff in there. You don't write about a man's money. I mean, I'm really mad at the gay. I'm mad as hell at him. I'm the big star, you know, I've written all these books, and, and here I am, you know. And then he writes bullshit about me. Well, you know, I'm seriously pissed off about it. And I think gay and I are going to have a hell of a real bad problem. He's still pondering, hoping to come clean 30 years later and find redemption. That's true. I did what I wanted to do. I didn't do what you wanted me I did what I wanted to do. I said, it's fine. Well, Go ahead and blab to the public. It was your right, because I think we had a contract. We both have a right. You have a right to criticize uh, me, and they don't have a right to ask you the same question. You're going to sanitize it. Let's make what you said. I didn't hear it. They will use what you say against the book because they want to make it worse. They want to demonize me. They want to exploit you because you're a hot subject now. You're new. You just went on the internet. You went on the New Yorker, God damn it. You're a hot subject. I get it. Power. Yeah, it's real private, you know.